Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are four friends A, B, C, D. They played a game of poker and they had, uh, in the beginning of the game, they had chips in 60s, 40s, 50s and 70s respectively, such that each of them had a prime number of chips. So that means uh, A had somewhere in 60s, which is a prime number, B had in 40s, 50s and uh, D in 70s. Now they played six rounds and uh, the chips were transferred among them. So there is no loss or gain in the total number of chips and certain uh, information is given to us. Okay. So let's have a table like this that how many chips they had in the start of the game and how many did they have after each of these six rounds. Okay. So uh, one thing that is given to us is that each of them had prime number of chips. Now, what could be that number that we'll have to figure out? Uh, it is given that A lost 10 chips in each round. And if we see the last statement, it says that all except D ended up with a prime number of chips. So A started with a prime number. So all these are prime numbers <coughs> and ended with prime number. Okay. So there are six rounds. And so the, he must have less 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we have to find a number in 60s, which is a prime number and 60 less than that is also a prime number. So in 60s, we have prime number 63, 67, right? So if we subtract 60 from it, we get one, which is not a prime number. And 67 minus 60 is seven, which is a prime number. So that means we have sorted for A. So A had 67 and then it became 57, 47, 37, 27, 17 and 7. Okay. The number of chips with B after every round formed an arithmetic progression which is increasing in nature. So let us say he had certain number of chips. So uh, let us say N chips. So that will be N plus X, N plus 2X and so on up to n plus 6x. Right? So he will have an arithmetic progression. Now it is also given that B ended up with as many chips as A had at the start of the game. So we have already found out that how many A had at the start of the game, which is 67. So B ended up with 67 chips. And how much could have B started with? So uh, if we see that B had in 40s, and prime numbers. So that means 41, 43 or 47. Okay. Now we know that the final number of chips is n plus 6x. Okay. That should be, uh, if we take uh, arithmetic progression, right? So uh, each time his number of chips will increase by a multiple of 6. Okay. Uh, so uh, the total number of, uh, if we put n is equal to uh, 41 here, Okay, we will not get x as an integer. If we put n equal to 47, we will not get x as an integer. We will get an integer only in case of n is equal to 43. So that means his number of chips increased by 4 in every round. Okay, so we know the final value. We have to find the initial value and common difference is although not given. But we can find out using this that uh, if we take 43, the common difference will be 4. So 63 and 67, right? So B is also done. And now we have to find about C and D, okay? Now in these statements, one thing is that given to us is that both C and D had 74 chips at the end of round three. So at the end of round three, both of them had 74 chips, okay? Now one of the questions can be answered. What was the total number of chips used in the game? So we have 37 plus 55, 92 plus 148, 240 chips. Okay, total 240 chips were used. Now the thing is that we know that these are transferred among themselves, right? So that means that total is constant. This has to be a constant number. Okay, so one person is losing, other person is gaining the chips. Now what we will do is, we will find C plus D in each of the remaining cases. Okay. So uh, in the beginnings, this is 110. So C plus D will be 130. Okay. After round one, C plus D will be 
136. Okay. After round two, 142. So what we are doing is we are totaling to 4, 240 and subtracting from it. Okay. This is 86. So 154 after R4. And here we have uh, 80, so 160. And after R6, this is 166. So these are basically C plus D after each of these rounds. Okay. Now we are also given that that D had all the numbers between 71 and 77. So these numbers are between 71 and 77, which are seven different numbers. So in each of these rounds, we will have one of these numbers. Okay. But not in any specific order. So this has to, we have to fill numbers from 71 to 77 in this column. Okay. Now here, uh, we are also given that the number of chips with D was even after one, three and five. So we will have even number here, even number here, even number here and rest of the numbers would be odd, okay. Then further we are also given that the number of chips with C was a perfect square after rounds 1 and 4. So after round 1, the number of chips with C was a perfect square, okay. Now C plus D is 136, okay. D has some number in 70s, okay. And C has a perfect square. So let us find out some combination. So it is in something in 70s. So this might likely be in 60s. Okay, 60s plus 70s. And that has to be a perfect square. C was a perfect square after round 1. So C pe ek possible value is 64. Isn't it? There is only one possible number which is 64. And D could have 72. So that is a possibility 64 and 72. And it is matching that it is even number also right so this is justified okay so round one is done and in round four also it has the same criteria round four also the same thing happens so round four it is 154 right c plus d is 154 now d is in 70s so c must be in 80s okay so only perfect square that we can get C here is 81 and this is 73 that makes it 154 okay so this will be 81 and 73 so this is also done okay now uh, we have to find after round 5 See, there are three, all these numbers are 71 to 77, okay? And 72 is covered, 74 is covered, so this must be 76, okay? We have to cover all these numbers, 71 to 77. Uh, now, after R5, it was 160, so this will be 84, okay? Now, it is also, uh, now we are left with three numbers, right? One is 71. 1 is 75, 1 is 77. All of them started with a prime number, right? It is saying that all of them uh, started with a prime number of each of them was at a prime number of chips. Okay. So prime number between 71 and 77, 71 is a prime number, 73 is a prime number. 73 is already filled. So D must have started with 71. Okay. If this is 71, this is 130. 130 minus 71 we get 59 and it is also a prime number okay so that is also done now we have to find for two of the remaining rounds okay now we have we have filled all these no such information is left and we have to fill these two numbers okay now the two numbers available with us are 71 2 3 4 5 and 75 and 77 are left okay what is the criteria that is given to us is that all except D ended with a prime number of chips. So D will end up with 75 or 77 that is not a prime number. Okay. Now if we put D is equal to 75. So after round 6 the total is 166. Right. So if D is equal to 75. So C will be 91 and in this case C will be 89. 
okay now the condition is all except d ended with a prime number of chips so that means c cannot be 91 because 91 is 13 into 7 right so c will end up with 89 and d will end up with 77 okay so this is also done then one number remains that is 75 okay so this will be 75 and hence accordingly after round 2 it is 142 so 142 if you subtract we get 67 so that completes this uh, complete table and now we can answer the questions <coughs> at the end of how many rounds did c have more chips than anyone else so uh, round one uh, no round two also not there right c uh, more chips than anyone else right so in this case c and d are equal right so not more than any uh, not more than all right now in this case c has more than everyone else okay here and here so we have three such rounds where c has more than anyone else okay so here also it is equal but it is not more than d okay so we'll consider three as the answer which after which round was the difference in the number of chips with a and b the least a b ka difference ka pe uh, here the difference is 24 10 4 so round 2 we see the difference as 4 and else the difference is increasing right so after round 2 at the end of which round did d have 75 chips so d had 75 chips at the end of round 2 so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. <clears throat>